Hey guys, it's Ray. So today, this uh, accessory DIY is a bit of a long one. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get started. I'm going to be using some porcelain clay. The one that I use is my Sculpey. And I just prefer to work with this one because you get a lot more product. It's really soft and easy to work with, but it dries hard. Feel free to use polymer clay if you prefer. So I'm just going to be rolling some clay. And I'm using this roller that has those two rings. There are a lot of brands with these kinds of rings. Just use one that is thicker because we need that thickness. And I'm just gonna be using this tiny cookie cutter that I never use for cookies. And these are the measurements of this. And I'm just gonna be cutting one of this. Then I'll use my exacto knife, cut that in half, cut one half in half. And this is for our watermelon wedges accessories. For my other half, I'm gonna be cutting this in half and then again in half. And these are gonna be my watermelon slices. I'm gonna let those aside, let them dry. I'm gonna be using my Wilton 16 piping tape. I never ever use it for cupcake decorations and so I use it for these kinds of things. I'm gonna roll more clay, cut that in half, and these are gonna be my watermelon half moons. And I'll make three of these ones. Taking more clay, but for this one, I'll take this other piping tip that I never use for baking. This one is my Wilton 5, and I'm using this dyeing tool that I did myself. I do have the DIY showing you how to do this, and then I have another DIY showing you how to decorate it Barbie themed. But I'm gonna be taking this tool to just make some bites for these watermelons by just using that tiny hole as a tiny quick cutter and then just cutting three kind of like half circles. And those are gonna be the indentations of my bite. Then using my tool to just arrange everything as I want it to dry. I'm gonna be using some sewing pins. I do have the DIY for this Tiffany's inspired holder. It's actually kind of stained by now because I made it a long time ago and I kind of use it all the time. But I'm gonna be placing some pins on top of my watermelons. And for the ones that have bites on them, this is how I'm doing this. For two of them, I'm gonna be adding my pin on top and then in one in the middle part. Now I'm letting them dry. If you're working with polymer clay dough, this is when you make them. I'm going to be painting them now using white, pink, and green. First, I'll cover the whole thing white just to make the next colors pop up more. And then I'll use a tiny brush, like a detailed brush, paint my edges green. Just the edges as watermelons, the sides as well. Then I'm going to be mixing my green with some yellow because, because I wanted a lighter version of green. And I'm going to be using this other like tool that I made. This is a toothpick holder pretty much. So I'm adding some like lighter green paint to my tool. And I'm just dragging some like details of like that greener just to add more dimension pretty much to like the edges. Now this uh, tool is pretty handy. If you made a mistake and you feel like you went a bit overboard with the green lines, you can actually correct it by just covering with some white acrylic paint. Then I'm going to be using some pink and some white, making a lighter pink by mixing these two. Going with my brush, painting the red part of like the watermelons pink. And I just chose pink instead of red, just because I wanted to make this accessories more delicate looking. Painting as well the top parts and the back of them. I just actually painted the back of them. Then I'm going to be using some gold acrylic paint my previous um, dating tool that I showed, the Barbie one, and this other dating tool that I also have a DIY showing you how to make this. And so for my more delicate ones, I'm going to be adding the seeds like this, adding a dot of gold paint with my bigger dating tool, then just dragging that dot with my Barbie dating tool like so. So for my half moon, uh, watermelon is going to be pretty much the same. I added three seeds on this ones, and I just added them facing like the middle part. Going back to my toothpick dating tool, and this is pretty much a double-sided thing, removing my toothpick and then just placing the other side. And this is just a bigger dotting tool. I do have the DIY showing you how I made this. And this is going to be more for the bigger ones, like the more statement watermelons, because this is going to be giving me bigger dots, adding three seeds facing the middle part. I'm going to be adding some gloss to all of them. It's the one by Sculpey. And I find that this gloss works best if you add a bit of water. And I added three coats of this just to make them smooth and shiny. And this is how I let them dry, by the way, in a block of foam. Then I'm going to be removing my uh, sewing pin and just placing my eye pins. I do have a uh, DIY showing you how to make eye pins. If you just have wire, placing my eye pins where my sewing pin was, using this ear wires, opening this, adding my watermelons, and then just closing them. Doing that for all the earrings. For my necklace, I'm using this chain that I got at Hobby Lobby. I just saw it and I thought it was really cute and dainty. Pretty much opening two clasps. 
making those charms, adding my uh, watermelons and the chain, then just closing it. But yeah, guys, this is what they look like. And fun fact about this DIY, this was meant to be just one pair of like cute simple earrings and a necklace, but I couldn't make up my mind as far as what kind of watermelon I wanted to go for and so I went for all of them. And so that's why I made a hundred of them. <laughs> just kidding, I just made this once. I guess I had ideas in my mind that I never went for. And when I started working with this one, all of those ideas came to float. I really hope you liked them. I think they are all like a dainty statement. The bigger one is like more of a statement statement. And here I'm just showing you how they look like as a set. If you want to go for matchy matchy or just mismatched. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you this DIY because I really like them. I like them all. I think they are all like uh, dainty statements. It's just one that is like more statement statement, but I really hope you like them too. Let me know which one you like the most. Give this video a thumbs up, it helps my channel a lot. Subscribe for more and share this. I have other accessories if you wanna check them out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!